Welcome back tonight. A woman in Northwest DC is recovering after a violent robbery in front of her own home, and it happened just days after her neighbor's car was stolen. Fox 5's Derek Waller joins us live in the Manor Park neighborhood with new video of that incident. Derek? And Angie, Jim, neighbors here were already on alert after a woman's car was stolen on New Year's Day that happened right in front of her home. And then that violent robbery last night right on this street behind me. And I can tell you what, the woman's screams were actually caught on camera. That desperate call for help happening just before 6.30 last night here on 4th Street Northwest. A woman robbed and dragged to the ground in front of her home. A witness spoke to Fox 5 off camera. Her car door is sitting wide open. Uh, her purse is missing. She's completely dazed. She's really shaken up. The victim told police three men approached her. One of them grabbed her arm. And when she fought back, the man said, you stupid B, don't you see that I have a gun? That could have been me. Monique Brown lives across the street. And it breaks my heart because she's a sweetheart. Everybody that moves here, she makes sure they have little gift packages, and she welcomes you to the neighborhood. And Miss Brown has her own crime story. Back on New Year's Day, thieves broke into her 2017 Hyundai Elantra like this one and took off. These are pictures of the busted steering column the last time someone tried to steal it a year ago. The art teacher now has to rely on co-workers to get home, but she'd rather call an Uber. My co-worker was bringing me home. And her children go to the school, and I told her, don't bring me home because I'm scared that it could be a carjacking, and I don't want your babies to have to experience that. Nearly 1,000 people were carjacked in Washington, D.C. in 2023. That's about double what it was in 2022. And also, car thefts rose 82% last year. Now, I will tell you that tonight I've learned that uh, Councilwoman Janice Lewis-George, she's hosting a public safety meeting for Ward 4 residents. That's going to be at 6 o'clock next Thursday, the 18th at Haynes High School, guys.